All right, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a versus video between the Makita LXT brushless hammer drill versus the Milwaukee Fuel brushless hammer drill. All right, so in this video, what we are gonna do is we are gonna do wood and concrete. Now for the concrete, I got brand new three quarter inch bits that we're gonna try the, uh, try these out on, seeing how well they do. No pre-drill hull. This is gonna be raw power straight from the motor to see if it can actually get drive in the bit and destroy the concrete in the process to get that bit in there. All right, so this is gonna be a good one, so stick around. Uh, and yes, Milwaukee fans are gonna hate me right now. We are not gonna use a high output battery for this. This is gonna be flat out five amp hour versus five amp hour. So please do not like flare up my comments saying, you should have used a high output battery out for this, man, it's so unfair. You're so biased, you know, a lot of people say that about me, which I like, I love all tools. And so, but for this, I do want to use the XC 5 amp hour battery and against the Makita 5 amp hour battery. All right, so Makita does not make special batteries. So I think this is going to be a 100% fair test. So please don't flare up my comments saying that this is unfair because Milwaukee makes better batteries. For one, Milwaukee doesn't make a five amp hour high output battery. There you go. All right, so, so yeah, let's go over the specs of these really quick and let's uh, test this out. All right, for the Milwaukee, this is the Milwaukee Fuel. This is a beast of a tamer drill. This thing is extremely powerful and it is absolutely crazy. The, the model number for this is 2804-20. This is a 14 point clutch plus two, which the plus two is hammer and drill. Now anything outside of the hammer and drill is screw. And so, yeah. All right, so two speed settings. This uh, speed one, this goes to zero to 550 RPM and on speed two is zero to 2000 RPM. And the beats per minute is zero to 32,000. Now that's a hammer drill, that's pretty damn good. All right, so we, like I said, we will be using a five amp hour battery, regular battery, the battery is full. It does have a single LED light on the bottom of the base. And this does come with a bit holder and also a belt clip. All right, but, but yeah, this thing, is, uh, this thing is awesome now. Milwaukee has the second best handle for the drill. You know, in, in my opinion, it's extremely sturdy, it's the correct length, and it is awesome. And so, so yeah, that is the Milwaukee Fuel, brushless motor, of course. All right, for the Makita, this is the Makita, like I said, I, I love Makita's color scheme. Turquoise, silver, black, and white. It looks good. I love the design that they do. All right, so this is model number XPH07. Uh, this is two speed settings with a 20 point clutch plus two. Nope, uh, this is 20 point clutch and uh, screw, drill, and hammer feature has its own uh, transmission. That's hammer, drill, and screw. So that also means if you put this on drill or hammer, it bypasses the clutch. So the clutch could be anywhere and it doesn't matter because it'll perform what the transmission is. Two LED lights underneath the chuck. Oh, sorry, both of these are half inch metal chucks. Full metal chucks, even the Makita's metal. All right, so like I said, two speed settings. Speed one, this goes to zero to 550 RPM, and on speed two, zero to 2100 RPM. So that's 50 RPMs more on speed one than the Milwaukee, and 100 RPMs more on speed two than the Milwaukee. On speed one, the beats per minute is 8,250, and on speed two, it is 31,500. Now, beats per minute is 500 less than the Milwaukee. Brushless LXT motor, this is a piece. And I love the way with the, uh, with how the Makita sounds. I love the unique sound that it comes from the Makita motor. So, like I said, five amp hour battery, battery is full. So let's get to it. Let's uh, start off with wood, then go to stone. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. Alrighty, so we are actually gonna do this video differently. The first thing I wanna do is I want to do a torque test. These handles will be used. All right, but very quickly, let's compare handles. Like I said, Makita, Makita's handle is extremely long. 
right? That is way too long for a handle, right? Like, like that is too, that this is holding it like this is too much of a gap. All right, but the Milwaukee's handle, that's perfect. You know, you want to keep it close and you want to keep it tight. But if you do that with the Makita handle, you know, like you can't keep it tight. Like you can't lock your elbows. You'll end up like this and this position is not good. All right, but we are going to do the Milwaukee first. We are going to do, this is going to require speed one. Neither of these will be able to do it on speed two. Learned that in the past. Click one more back. All right, the battery is full. The battery is full. We're gonna do a four inch lag and a six inch lag and see how well these do. Now, I know that these will be able to drive a four inch lag because I did it in the past, but when it comes to the six inch, we will see. We will see. So right there is good. Now I got this clamped down on my jaw horse and we'll see what happens now. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, my bad. It's on hammer. It's on drill. My bad. All right, so ready? Go. Time. It can't it did it. It did it, and it's all the way in. See, even the lock on that doesn't always lock it. All right, let's do Makita. That, that takes a lot of power to, for a drill to drive that in. I love that sound. I love that sound. All right, Makita, you, you do uh, twist it back one to lock it. All right, so let's do this. Right here is good. Battery is full. I'm not sure if you can see that. Right here is good. All right, so it's on drill, speed one. Ready, go. <laughs> Time. It did it. Alrighty, so let's take it out. Like I said, I already know these can't do it on speed two. Speed one is required. Speed one is required. Alright, so take it out. It's on drill. Speed one. Ready? Go. Time. These are amazing powerful. Like, like seriously, that's a hard task. That's a hard task to do. All right, let's do the Makita. Click back one. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, let's do the, let's see if these can do the six inch. I will be amazed if they can do the six inch. Six inches next. Now let's do this right here. All right, speed one, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Wow, time. It did it. It did it. The Makita is next. One click back. All right, right here is good. All right, so ready, go. You can do it. Uh-oh, I think it, it did it clock out. It might, might have just came undone. Let's continue. Continue. Nope, I think that's it. I think that's as far as the Makita will go. I think, I think this, yep. Let's whip out another bit. Because I'm not sure, because you might not be able to see this, but 
but this this is stripping so I'm gonna whip out another bit if I have one I have a Ryobi bit a brand new Ryobi a quarter inch to a half inch adapter all right let's continue on this just in case if it actually is the bit I think I stripped I think these are uh, stripped that bit all right so ready go Ooh, yeah that bit stripped time actually clock it, it hope I can get that out I gotta dig that out so as you can see that bit completely stripped so yeah so it, it was the, not the Makita it was the bit so I now I gotta I gotta dig that one out alrighty so I was able to drive that out a little bit cut around the wood hopefully this uh, this bit survives all right so we're gonna take this out all right so ready Go. That was time a little while ago. That took it out. All right, let's let's do the Makita. All right, so speed one, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. That's incredible. All right, I want an ultimate stress test on this motor, on both of these motors. Let's drive in a 10 inch lag. Let's see if this can do it. And if it can, I guarantee you that these will drive those 10 inch lags in faster than their brother impact drivers. Alrighty, so I got it right here. Let's see what my situation is do it right here can I reach it yes I can all right I th feel like I got to stand on something for this right here is good all right so ready go you can do it you can do it oh that's awesome almost there it can do it. It can do the last time. It did. It drove in a 10 inch lag. That is absolutely insane. All right, let's see if Makita can do the same. Uh, the bit's doing all right. It's not. It's not doing too. It's not doing too badly. Quarter inch to half inch bits don't last that long, unfortunately. All right, got a 10 inch lag right here. All right, so sun speed drill, speed one. All right, so ready, go. It came loose. That is how, that is how it gets stripped. All right, let's continue. Hopefully I can continue. Time. it did it it did it smells does smell I'm not sure if that's Makita's natural smell but does smell does smell a tad a tad bit of burning just a tad bit but it might be Makita's natural smell when it comes to their motor because each motor actually does have their own smell all right let's take it out hopefully this bit will survive hopefully it'll survive this God, it's amazing that these are doing this. Pick one back. All right, so. Ready, go. Oh, reverse, ready, go. Time. It did it. It's seriously ten, a 10 inch lag. That is absolutely insane. Easily, too. Easily. As long as you have an adapter that will survive it. 
Like I said, I do not know what the times are until I edit the video, but that's absolutely insane. All right, let's do uh, 10 inch, uh, sorry. We gotta take this out for Makita. All right, so ready, go. Time. Wow. Now I'm not sure uh, the times are there, but it just from what I hear from the motor, it sounded like the Makita did that with a little less effort than the Milwaukee. But also the Makita is bigger than the Milwaukee is, so that that might be it. Wow. All right, let's do a quick temperature reading on these for the Milwaukee. Oh, it's still cold. 96. I saw 98 somewhere, but uh, 97 degrees for the Milwaukee. All right, for the Makita, right, I got 96 somewhere, but 95, 95 degrees. Wow, so both of them are still cold. And for the Makita, the battery is still full. And the Milwaukee, battery is still full as well. Wow, you gotta admit, you gotta admit those that those are some powerful drills. All right, so we're just gonna do big boy stuff in this. There's no point on doing screws. Obviously, uh, if what you just saw, obviously these can drive in screws very easily. So we're just gonna do big boy stuff with this. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a three quarter inch Milwaukee drill bit. Now, I'm gonna say, if either of the, I'm going to drill three holes at once. If either of them stop in the test for whichever hole, it failed that test. It has to do three holes in a row nonstop. I messed up. It's supposed to be on speed two. There we go. My bad. We're going to start this over. Yep, it has to be on speed two. Sorry about that, let's redo these. All right, so ready, go. Oh, my bad. Time. Time, time, time. Alrighty, let's, Makita has to do the same thing. It's on drill, speed two. All right, it has to do three holes in a row. All right, so ready. Oh, sorry, battery is still full. Ready, go. That doesn't count. time they it did it yeah this one doesn't count because it it went through like it went it seriously uh, busted through the the edge so yeah it did it non-stop so both of them are good to go when it comes to that type of stress test Alrighty, next we are going to do a speed bore on speed two it's on drill speed two now this could easily do a speed bore you know what, let's do an ultimate stress test. Let's do two holes in a row. All right, so I'm gonna stop. As soon as the truck hits the board, I'm gonna stop until and continue it when I drive it back into the next hole. All right, so ready? This. Yep, we're good to go. All right, so ready? Go. Time, time it did it. Wow, that's powerful. All right, so let's do two holes with this. All right, so ready, go. Oh, it, uh, it stopped, it stopped. I did not release the trigger, the motor stopped. So that being said, 
uh, the Makita failed this test. The Makita failed the test. But we're just going to do a time on another one. This is a, we're just a Milwaukee one. Continue. Came undone. I'm not having luck with this chuck. Yeah, see, Makita's stopping. Instead of just busting, uh, just continuing, it's actually stopping at the end. Uh, M Milwaukee actually just kept on running, uh, and I pulled it out while it was still in forward. Alrighty, so Milwaukee won that one. Alrighty, one last test, then let's go to concrete. All right, it is on speed two, it's on drill. We're just going to do one hole. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. It did it. Slowly take it out. It is Makita's turn. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's the transmission going. All right, but last test for the wood. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, so ready, go. Time. It did it. It did it. Slowly take it out. Perfect. Alrighty, so for this test, for the for the final test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use brand new three quarter inch Bosch hammer bits or concrete bits, if you will. And so yeah, so like yeah, three quarter inch. And so this is gonna be a good one when it comes to the motors majorly doing their job. All right, the battery is still the battery's at three bars actually on the Milwaukee. Not sure if you guys can see that. Battery's at three bars. Let's see what this can do. I am using handles during this test. Here we go, let's make sure. Yep, it works. All right, so ready, go. I'm gonna say that's time, and yes, it is. That is time, time, time. Not bad, not bad, and not bad at all. Makita's turn. Let's see how well Makita does on the concrete. Ooh. Uh-oh. There we go. I don't know if that's normal or not it's on hammerage on speed two up oh, gotta put the handle on right here is good all right so ready go Came undone. Came undone. All right, so let's continue. Continue. Came undone. 
Yeah, Makita's, I'm not sure if I broke it, but it keeps, I'm not, see, like, I'm not sure if that's good or not. It keeps coming undone. All right, continue. Yes, it did. All right, Makita, not doing good. Not doing good, Makita. All right, you're almost done. Let's continue. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Makita is done. All righty, so that's, that's that. Makita on, kept on going. Undone, that's disappointing. That is very disappointing. 120, uh, Milwaukee, 120 degrees. I'm not sure if you can see that. 120 degrees on the Milwaukee. Makita actually ran cooler. 107 is the highest I could find, 107. Not sure if you could see that, but 107. Makita, I am very disappointed in Makita that this kept on coming out. It shouldn't come out at all. And so I'm not sure if I messed up the, the chuck to where it no longer locks, keeps it locked into place. See, when you hear that, I'm not sure if that's good. I, I doubt it's good, but now it's locked into place. But I think I messed the chuck up for it to actually keep the bit locked into place. But the Milwaukee did exceptionally well. Now, when it comes to the other tests, I do not know how well they did until I edit the video, but I'm absolutely amazed that both of them drove in 10 inch lags in, in seconds. Now, I think it takes uh, the Milwaukee fuel, I think it takes this like about 12 seconds or 15 seconds to drive that in. And this, these guys did it in a short time. I do not know what time, but it felt a lot shorter than this. And so these drills, these, these drills are powerful. But like I said, I am completely changing the way I do these tests. I am not always gonna do the same tests all the time. I'm gonna add certain tests, take certain tests away. And yeah, th this is absolutely insane that these drills did that. And so yeah, so both of them did exceptionally well, but I am majorly disappointed with Makita's chuck. I think I I think I broke it, but we will find out in the future uh, future episodes to see if it uh, continues to act up or if it or if it's fine. We'll find that out in, in upcoming episodes. So that's pretty much it. So this has just been the video between these two to see what their power difference is and to see what both of these can do. And both of them blew my mind when it comes to those lags. That's huge. It takes tremendous power to do that task, and both of them did it. Both of them did it easily. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.